I'm privileged to be here tonight and proud that the leadership of the Hollywood Foreign Press has seen fit to encourage that those highest aspirations of film should share this stage tonight with a very real-world example, that which inspires film's creation. From the otherworldly courage of young Iranians rising up, to the ever-persevering women's movement of Afghanistan. We are reminded in no uncertain terms that the freedom to dream is not simply a human luxury, but rather a human need that must be fought and sacrificed for. If the freedom to dream were a spear, I proudly present a human being who tonight represents that spear's most honed tip. Ladies and gentlemen, dear participants of the 80th Golden Globe Award ceremony. The award was won at a special time. The Second World War wasn't over yet, but the tide was turned. All knew who would win. There were still battles and tears ahead. It was then when the Golden Globe Award appeared to honor best performers of 1943. It is now 2023. The war in Ukraine is not over yet, but the tide is turning, and it is already clear who will win. There were still battles and tears ahead. But now I can definitely tell you who was the best in the previous year. It was you, the free people of the free world, those who united around the support of the free Ukrainian people in our common struggle for freedom, democracy, for the right to live, to love, to give birth, no matter who you are, no matter where you are from, no matter who you are with. The struggle for the right of the new generations to know about the war only from movies. The First World War claimed millions of lives. The Second World War claimed tens of millions of them there will be no Third World War. It is not a trilogy. Ukraine will stop the Russian aggression on our land. We will make it together with a whole free world. And I hope that all of you will be with us on the victorious day, the day of our victory. Slava Ukraini!